Hey guys, we're going to jump right into the next awesome little mini series we got going on here multi threading. Just like with the image search library, there is a multi threading emulation library that emulates multi threading. We're going to go over how to install it and how to use it. We're also going to learn how to make image searching and pixel searching more effective by splitting them up and using multiple threads to do the work. By the end of this little mini series, we're going to be able to take our box to the next level like we've never seen before. So with this, we're just going to get set up. Go to the link in the description. It's a GitHub link. We're going to want to click the clone or download option. Click download as a zip file. And we're going to save this to a new folder on our desktop. You can put this anywhere, but I'll be putting this on my desktop. I'm going to type in auto it YouTube threading. Press enter and save it. If you don't have a program to open zip files, go to your favorite search engine, type in 7-zip, click on the 7-zip.org, and download either the 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, I'm in the folder that I downloaded it in. There's two ways you can do this. The first is just simply right-clicking on the au thread masterzip hover over 7-zip, click Extract here. If you don't see that option, you can press the Start button on your keyboard, type in 7-zip, Open up 7-zip file manager, copy the path to the folder that we're in, paste it here, and then open up this au thread master zip, and you'll see this folder. Simply drag this folder over, and then you should be good. I don't have to replace anything because I've already put it in there. Just like with the image search series, any scripts that we make using this multi-threading library are going to have to be made in the same folder as our au thread.au3, which is essentially a file we're going to include in every single one of our projects that requires multi-threading. As far as I understand right now, this isn't true threading or true multi-threading. Essentially what it is is you create functions that use this threading library, and then what the threading library does is it separates them all into separate scripts but allows them to communicate with each other as if it was multiple threads. Using this library is really cool and it allows you to do things that you could never do before and run processes that could never be run at the same time. I hope by the end of this little mini series, you guys can have a good understanding of how multi-threading works with this library and how to implement it into your project. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.